Early cars were not for the masses. Early on, as cars got better and more powerful, they became the plaything of the wealthier people. Before the elite were being chauffeured around in their gasoline-powered Benzes, another auto could be heard chugging through the countryside. Remarkably, it's still on the road today. This unusual motorized vehicle can sometimes be found puffing along the English countryside near Cambridge. This living piece of transportation history is an 1884 Dédion et Bouton in Trepardieu. He was called a personal steam carriage, but it's more closely related to the locomotive than your family sedan. This relic holds a distinguished place in automotive history. The Dédion here is, is particularly um special in that uh, it was made before Daimler and Benz invented the petrol engine car. Um, Daimler and Benz both produced their vehicles in 1886 and um, the, the Dion steamer was made in 1884. Uh, I've been running the car now for 14 years and uh, I think even the most eminent of uh, historians uh, accept the fact that this is the oldest running car anywhere in the world. There's nothing older, and that is it, the oldest vehicle capable of running on the roads legally in the world. Like many early automotive pioneers, the developer of this car faced serious skepticism. Count de Dion in France, who was experimenting with steamers and then later internal combustion cars, was passionate about trying to develop this. His family, however, got injunctions against him because they saw him as being unstable, wasting his time and effort with these inventions that could amount to nothing. They were just toys, unstable toys of a little boy's mind. Undaunted, he teamed up with two engineers, Monsieur Bouton and Trapadu, and they turned their ideas into a business. They offered these for sale. It was the first time anybody had offered a self-propelled vehicle for sale from a catalogue to paying customers, and they sold several of them. One of these revolutionary vehicles is now owned by Tim Moore, who loves its rich history. It's the, the car took part and won the world's first motor race on the 28th of April, 1887. It was the personal vehicle of Count de Dion himself. Moore purchased the car in France and had to secure permission from the French government to export his steam-powered treasure. He was then faced with the challenge of learning how to drive it. When I first got the, the car home, the first problem was that I knew nothing about steam. So a great deal of research went into discovering how it, it might have worked. Well, of course, you have to forget everything you ever knew about driving a modern car. With no gas pedal or foot brake, his hands are in constant motion in order to keep the car running. Whilst it's demanding to drive, uh, the fact that it goes as well as it does um, is really just a fantastic achievement. It's a real historical milestone that um, something, an inanimate object could be made to move in the way that, that it does. The Dédion is capable of reaching 37 miles per hour, much faster than a horse-drawn carriage. Count Dédion's plaything showed that the auto could be a viable transportation option, but he'd be surprised to see his revolutionary vehicle still running over 100 years later. <laughs>